This is Wicked Roadie, a wicked good podcast about Rhode Island events and life. Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name's Mary Larson. And I'm Ben DeCastro. Thank you so much for tuning in to the show that has won Best of Rhode Island uh, a couple times. Yeah. You know, podcast, because, you know, we're good like that. You know what's pretty so, cool is it, yeah. we've won... Yes. As long as there has been a category for Rhode Island's Best Podcast. I like to think they created it for us. I won't necessarily <laughs> say that's the only reason why. They, there are a number of great Rhode Island podcasts. There As a matter are. of fact, as we record this right now, there is uh, Podcast Podcast Movement, movement which, yeah. Which is the huge podcast... Um, convention. It's the convention. It's it's it is it is the end all be all for podcasting. So yes, that and is sadly, going on I'm right now. Sadly, I'm not there. We, Blake, or you, I, you left as you left as you <laughs> as it was coming in because you were in Orlando <laughs> yes. over the last week. Yes, I was already in Orlando, and so that's where the podcast convention is currently going on as we're recording this. You know, you can only you can only fit so much in into your summer, especially you know with with kids and everything. Um, but yeah, my husband Blake and I we were down in Orlando. Orlando last weekend for um, my conference for my Minute with Mary um, right. business. And then also, Blake and I decided to hit up Disney and Universal Ooh. Studios for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which are two things that I have never done. Like, I... I'm I'm a kid at heart. <laughs> and sure. When I tell people that I've never been to Disney World before or Universal Studios, that you know, so many people's jaws drop to the ground. But it it, it costs a lot. It's a big investment in time and and money. Um, but let so me. So this tell brings you, up. Yeah. This brings up a great question. Yeah. It was your first time going to Disney. Was it Blake's first time going to Disney? No, he had been tons okay. of times in his youth. So it's your first time going to Disney. Mm-hmm. Are you sad? Or do you regret, I don't know if regret's the right word, but do you kind of wish, ah, oh, man, I wish the first time I could have done it with the kids? Or are you of the mindset of, even though I'm an adult, mm-hmm. I don't care, the first time I want to do it, just my husband, no kids, just just go for it. There's, there's no yeah. wrong answer. Oh, no. Yeah, for me, um, because I only had one day in the park, I am so glad I didn't do it with the kids. I said okay. that probably 50 times. You know, I went in August, the hottest month of the year right. to be in yes. Orlando. Being yes. a Rhode Islander, you know, I hate the heat anyway. I hate sweating. I mean, guys, it was seriously like 96 degrees, pretty much 100% humidity. Yeah. I was crabby. I, tur- I myself turn into a young, whiny child when I feel like that. So okay. for me... Me to be able, you know, I knew I wanted to be there from opening till closing. And I think when you go with kids and it's that hot and they're young, you really need to factor in nap time and breaks. But sure. also there are rides that I don't think would my children would have liked. I think they were too extreme, a little scary. Um, my son, for example, he doesn't like to be shifted around too awfully much. So it's not that anything was like really frightening, but for my right. kids being as young as they were, they're more aimed towards the teacups and, you know, Dumbo. And I'll tell you, I did not do those rides because I know that when I do come back one day with my kids, I'll do it with them. But okay. 100%, I'm glad I went without the kids. All right. So I went to Disney. I've been to Disney one time in my life. Ooh, yep. Yes, and in one day, we did MGM, Magic Kingdom, and Epcot. How? In one day. (laughs) How? Oh, my gosh. It was actually Thanksgiving Day, and I I went with a a girl I was dating at the time, Mm -hmm. and I swore I would never return to Disney ever again. Oh, my gosh. I wanted to punch the mouse right in the head. <laughs> that sounds... I mean, the thing is, is that one day I was only in the Magic Kingdom. I right. think that's the way you need to do it, is like park yourself for one day in oh, one park. Yes. One park, one day. Not mm-hmm. three parks, one day like <laughs> no. Captain Crazy over here <laughs> no. did. That was just absolute <laughs> madness. I yes. was... I was... Oh, oh, it was miserable. was not good. But it was the one day we had to mm-hmm. do it. Uh, she was going to school down there. But nevertheless... Water under the bridge, as they say. So, asks the question, and you can comment on our Facebook page. If you're going to Disney for the first time as an adult, do you do it with the kids or without the kids? Let us know mm-hmm. over at the Wicked Roadie Facebook page. 
Or you can share it with us on Instagram as well. We're social in all the right places, like MasterCard, everywhere you want to be. <laughs> and if you tuned in while you're on the road working or getting errands done, just listen and enjoy the episode. If you hear something that piques your interest, you can find all the links and info on our website, wickedreadypodcast.com. So what do you have lined up for this week's Wicked Interesting Pick, Ben? It is the 53rd annual Washington County Fair taking place right now through Sunday, August 18th. It is just amazing fun for the entire family. Have you ever been to the Washington County Fair, Mary? I have plenty of times and I go dressed up. Pro tip number one. (laughs) Do not go to the Washington County Fair after washing your vehicle because you are parking in a lot that they do water it down, but it is dirt and grass. Mm -hmm. And after a few days uh, or a few days of being driven over the grass, the, the dirt tends to come to the top. And I made the mistake the first year I went and had a fresh, clean vehicle, oh, no. clean the inside and outside, and yeah, well, that all went to uh, <laughs> went for not. But nonetheless, uh, this is going to be a great, great uh, weekend of, of shows and stuff. Mm-hmm. The day this recording comes out on the Thursday, Jimmy Allen will be there, country recording artist Jimmy Allen. On Friday, Lone Star will be performing. Saturday, Daniel Bradbury, and on Sunday, Matt Steele, and this is, this is just... That is included in your ticket price. You don't That's have amazing. to buy a separate ticket to hear that uh, those concerts. They'll also have, obviously, the Rockwell Amusements on the Midway. They have a bunch of 4-H things going on, agriculture displays, future farmers of America, livestock. They'll have the tractor poles. They'll have arts and crafts. Mm-hmm. They have all the good stuff. Of course, if you just happen to be in the market and you don't know where to go shop for a hot tub, they will have a few vendors there, I'm sure, selling hot tubs. It's always my favorite. You know, it's like, oh, let's go to the <laughs> right. county fair and buy a hot tub. <laughs> Should have seen it when you went to the, we went to the Big E uh, last year and, and there were just these big, massive tents, like 100 by 100 tents. Uh, just loaded with hot tubs, and people were buying them like crazy. That's what you do. I guess uh, you get get a bag of kettle corn and a hot tub. But cool. nonetheless, <laughs> there'll be plenty of food. <laughs> Speaking of kettle corn, plenty of food and drink down there. It's going to be just a, a spectacular time. Of course, it takes place oh, right down there in South County. Mm-hmm. Find the links for the directions, but this is this is truly a, a, a wonderful, wonderful A quintessential uh, Rhode Island thing. It, it really is. And admission is only $11 for adults. Kids 10 and under are free. And uh, they are old school here, folks. Cash only. So bring that green stuff. They will have they will have ATMs down there, but there's usually a big line for the yep. ATM. It's second only to the line for the bathrooms. Yes. Is the line for the ATM. So bring the uh, bring bring the old cashola and uh, you'll, you'll, you'll be uh, well served there. So it's the Washington County Fair. Going on now through August 18th, 53rd annual, don't miss it. Well, that's what was Wicked Interesting, and now here's what's Wicked Fun in the 401. I just get so excited, Mary, that you know I forget to read those those one-liners that we have at the end. There, I'm like, all right, if we end this quicker, I can get down to the Washington County Fair and get myself some uh, maybe maybe a funnel cake or something. A turkey but what, leg, yeah, maybe absolutely. some uh, fried fried Twinkies, something all all, all the fried. Have you had all a fried Twinkie? No, I have it's not. Very disappointing. I'm not gonna lie; it just becomes right. one big smush. Yeah, well, most most things that go in the fryer later that don't have the consistency of a protein do, like chicken fingers. The, that's the only thing I think that comes out okay. I have Nonetheless, had cookie dough anyway. Yes, really? It's, yeah, it's really good. All right, tune into the food pod, the fried podcast, sponsored by Crisco. Hey, What's coming there you up? go. Right. Well, if you want to see people be active who probably aren't eating tons of fried things, you might want to head on over to Rocky Point because they're going to be having their historic baseball festival on Saturday. All day, 8.30 to 4. And by the way, guys, all of these things that we're talking about, this is a perfect weekend to go and do something in Rhode Island. It's going to be a beautiful weekend here in the Ocean State. 
So on Saturday, the Providence Grays are going to be presenting this. Rocky, this is the first ever Rocky Point Historic Baseball Festival from you know, nine to four. Five vintage teams from the Northeast are going to be playing five games, following the rules of 1884 and 1864, on two fields throughout the day. They're going to be having the New New York Mutuals Baseball Club, Connecticut Bulldogs, the Drigo Baseball, and Boston Union Vintage Baseball. They're going to be welcoming, wow. of course, the Grays as they inaugurate this festival. Admission is completely. Free. So if you Whoa. yourself are like a baseball fan, you want to see how it was played in the good old days. Um, this, of course, you know, Rocky Point used to be this big amusement park, too, that was was around for a very, you very long time. You could go with your family. You could go with your friends. <laughs> a summertime tradition. Right? Oh, we need the whole song. Rocky yes. Point. <laughs> yes, I so, think I messed it up, but that's okay. And, you know, the Providence Grays like, made really big history. Babe Ruth even played for them. Yes. Um, so this is like, this is a big deal thing. So they're going to be having an opening ceremony ceremony with the first pitch um there's going to be fun to, tons of fun things so once again if you're someone who likes baseball if you want to see how it was played in the good old days this is something you want to check out right in warwicky point in warwick all day on saturday awesome hey mary the 92nd annual Pawtucket greek festival is happening this weekend friday saturday and sunday Friday, it opens up at 5 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, it opens up at noon. And it's happening at the Assumption of the Virgin Mary Greek Orthodox Church in Pawtucket. That's on Walcott Street. Mm -hmm. This is just going to be an absolute festival where you're going to eat, sing, dance, celebrate the music, spirit, culture, and cuisine of Greece. This is, you know, the, the Greek cuisine. You know, you're featuring the the gyros or the gyros. I call on them gyros. Gyros. There's so many, so many different I ways. Get I get confused. Just, yeah. I usually just point and say, "Give me one of them." <laughs> They're delicious. You'll have you'll have uh, baked lamb shank. They'll have the the Slovaki, the grape leaves, the 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 roast lamb. All, 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 oh yeah, all I'm the, the, the masuka, everything <laughs> like that. They'll have the dance performances provided by the renowned group Pride dance troupe they'll be doing all the i love the music there too you just bring mm -hmm. uh bring up byon bring your own napkin so you can shout opa as you <laughs> swing it about your head uh they'll have beautiful uh uh you know artwork and and great you know things that you can enjoy clothing and whatnot to, to te check out uh they'll have the aromatic greek coffee mm -hmm. accompanied by pax maida which is biscotti. I am offending all the Greeks in my 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 sincerest <laughs> apologies. Of course, they'll have the baklava cheesecake, and uh, you can sip a glass of ouzo. It just it's 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 it's. I'm drooling be fun. seriously. It's only nine thirty in the morning that we're recording this, and I'm just well. I love Greek food. That's well. You need to be at the lady. Excuse me, the Assumption of the Virgin Mary Greek Orthodox Church in Pawtucket this weekend. That's where you need to be. It looks like they have decent parking, but you know how I like to roll. You, you park somewhere on the outskirts or just call Uber or Lyft and have them take you to and from. Smart. I'm sure that'll be a, a, it's a much easier way to enjoy the entire experience. What else we got? It is. Well, on Sunday from 3 to 7, if you can't wait for October for Oktoberfest, don't worry because Foolproof Brewing Company in Pawtucket has Oktoberfest. Get it? Like uh, August, Oktoberfest. Uh, oh, they're just so witty. Good. They, are, they are. so They're very smart. Witty. <laughs> Give it to so them. So this is a great event going on once again Sunday afternoon. Um, it is a 21 plus event, so no kids, no pets, but it's going to be an amazing festival. They're going to have the live brass music from the Kickin' Brass Band, food from Great Northern BBQ Company, an inflatable slip and slide. And remember, I said no kids. So this is an inflatable slip and slide for us oh. adults listening to this games, competitions, and of course, loads of beer. So if you're a big fan, I mean, Foolproof Brewing Company is one of my favorite brewing companies here in the Ocean State. They always have a great variety, and there's a ton of different um, ticket levels and packages, so you're going to want to check that out, but it's it's a good time. So if you're a fan of the brews, you don't have to wait till October. So if there's a, a an inflatable adult slip and slide, yeah. that means you're going to get wet. Yeah. All right, white t-shirts for everybody. Uh, <laughs> Probably <it's> like, not. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's uh, 
<laughs> duly noted. Duly yes. noted. Uh, if you want something uh, a little, uh, if you want something more uh, family friendly, well, it depends on uh, how you want to look at it. VW's On the Hill Car Show happening over at Diamond Hill State Park on Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. You know, the punch buggies everybody loves to uh, highlight when you're driving about. Well, this is the third annual VW's On the Hill Car Show. It's a, it's a, they had over 100 of these cars last year. Uh, you can register if you have a car, but if you just want to come and check out the the excitement and the fun, the Gar- Gotta Q BBQ people will be there. Alien Ice Cream will be there as well uh, during the show. And it's you can uh, if you want to swap stuff, you you have that option. If you want to show your car, it's like sh- car stuff, car stuff. Like you, what you is swap at, stuff? Like people say, like I'll switch a horn for your horn, something like that. You know, people who have VWs. Not that I'm uh, very knowledgeable in this, but chances are they have one or two extra parts in the okay. garage or a thousand. And they say, hey, uh, I have a bumper for a 68, but I need a, a fender for a 64. You have a, let's fl- swap. So uh, they, they, they will do that there. So it's, you get to meet and, and have fun with the people there. So that's cool. what's happening. But again, it's over at Diamond Hill State Park, which is a beautiful location. Check it out Sunday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. We've got a couple of great activities for you to do that are family friendly. First up on Sunday from 11 till 4, Free Play Arcade is going to be having another family day. So, of course, family day means that kids of all ages get to enjoy all the arcade games, ski ball, air hockey and pinball. If you have not yet been to Free Play, it's amazing. You pay your cover, which on this day is going to be $10 per person, and then all games are free. Like completely fun and exciting. And these are old fashioned arcade games. So whether you go without kids or if you want to take your kids on this day, it's a great place to check out. Once again, that's Sunday from 11 until 4. Well, Mary, we also have a fun weekend. And listen, there's not a lot of games left. Right now, as of the day of this recording, there are 14 games left. And we're winding down quickly over at the Paw Sox. Yeah. But this weekend, we have some fun stuff happening. We have, the uh, on, on Friday, we have Replica Ring Night. So the first 3,000 fans get a free replica world series ring and these things look pretty authentic they're pretty cool looking they're great so that is happening on friday on saturday we have our country music post game firework show presented by cat country 98.1 and ibew local 99 this is a great great firework show it's it's going to be super fun great country music mm-hmm. fireworks a ball game what more do you want Sunday, 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 family fun day. There's so much happening. First off, the first 5,000 fans come and get a free baseball card set about Ooh. the of the Paw Sox. Very cool. You come early enough, you can play catch on the field before the game. You can play catch on the field. After the game, you can run the bases presented by Flood Auto Group and Light Rock 105. And they've changed it this year, Mary, because they used to say you run around one time and that's mm-hmm. it. You can keep running laps until your heart's content. Tuck yourself just out. Keep, just keep running. <laughs> just keep running. Or if you're smart, let the kids keep running and they fall asleep on the way home. And yes. then the 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 last part of the Sunday fun day is it is the bark in the park. Mm-hmm. So you can bring your dog to McCoy on Sunday. All dogs and owners will be allowed in the white tent area behind first base for the duration of the game. You can that way you'll be able to uh, walk Fido and whatnot over. Uh, over in the field there. And, of course, you're going to have to pick up after Fido. But nonetheless, that's yes. where you can enjoy Bark in the Park. It's all the fun things happening at the Paw Sox this weekend. Awesome. Mary, no matter where you are in Rhode Island, you're never more than 18 and a half miles from the ocean, Connecticut, or Massachusetts. So this weekend, I invite you to take a ride over to Massachusetts on Saturday, August 17th, to one of our favorite places. That would be Battleship Cove. From Saturday from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., they will be having the Steel Beach Barbecue. 
Now, this is a fundraiser with all the funds directly going to serve the, the mission of preserving the National Historic Landmark ships and the war memorials that are in the care of Battleship Cove. And it's, it's the first of its kind. So you can go there, enjoy hot dogs, hamburgers, chicken, and much more. It's, uh, it, it's, it's very affordable. And you get a chance to see these battleships. And, of course, it's always fun when you go there and you see veterans. And you may not necessarily for the kids, the younger kids, but if you're an older person and you don't have the kids with you, go talk to those veterans. Mm -hmm. Go say hi. And let them tell you the stories about what they experienced. Chances are they didn't serve on one of these ships, but they may have served in the Navy, so they know about it. Your mom, Mary, is a yes. Navy veteran, and I'm sure she uh, can she, she can give anybody an education on on all things naval. And, I know the uh, CB song. Off there the you top go. Of my head. There you go. <laughs> right, right on, and uh, a good Rhode Island staple right there. Yep. But it's it, it's 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 pretty cool to to check it out, and of course having a barbecue there on Saturday. It's just it's a great spot right on the water, and it's there to help support Battleship Cove and, and all the different uh, all the different stuff. And the, you know why they call it a steel beach. No. Mary. Oh, because, because of all the steel. There you go. There you go. There, there you go, go it, man. The barbecue actually I takes place. It out. The barbecue actually takes place on the fantail of the battleship Massachusetts, Big Mamie, as they call her. What's a fantail? So, that's the backside. Okay. So yeah, it's the back. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's it's yeah, it's uh, the, you shake your tail feather back there. There you go. Good time, so there you go. Happening on Saturday from one to four p.m. Battleship Cove Steel Beach Barbecue. <laughs> So as you all know, Wicked Roadie is proud to partner with the United Way of Rhode Island, helping to spread the word about amazing opportunities for you, your family, your friends, anyone who would like to volunteer in and around Rhode Island. And being that it is almost September... It's time to start thinking about the children here in the Rhode Island area. So first up, we have the Gotta Have Soul Foundation. And this is a great opportunity for those of you who understand WordPress or Photoshop. So Gotta Have Soul provides new footwear to children living in shelters. And they need a volunteer to help perform website maintenance for only five hours a week. So once again, if you're someone who's techie, you understand WordPress and Photoshop, they're looking for you. Yes, and uh, they would greatly appreciate any help you can give them. Mm -hmm. uh, the Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Rhode Island, they are looking for mentors. And as you mentioned, you know, Mary, as we're getting out of the summer and starting to head back into the school year and as people start settling down, this may be the opportunity to fill that, that, that time with something awesome like being a mentor to an elementary student in a supervised group setting in the South Providence area. So the commitments are Tuesdays from twelve fifteen to one fifteen p.m. Uh, you need to you you need uh, you just need to do a little bit of a training and, mm -hmm. and whatnot, and and they'll get you through that. They also need volunteers to help mentor. Uh, boys, they need you know essentially big brothers mm -hmm. uh, at this point. So they're looking for that. Uh, it's a six to eight hour a month commitment, eighteen month minimum. If you're nineteen and older, just reach out to them, uh, the Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Rhode Island, because they do wonderful work over there. And if you would like to learn more about the United Way, or if you're in need of assistance yourself, visit their website or simply dial two one one and get connected to the help you need. <laughs> All right, as we said at the beginning, everything we talked about today can be found on our website, wickedroadypodcast.com. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. You can just search us at Wicked Roadie. And if you're taking any photos in and around the Ocean State, we want to see them. Use the hashtag Wicked Roadie. Don't forget, we talked about at the top of the show, if you have been to Disney, or if you're thinking of going to Disney, or how would you approach Disney for the first time as an adult? Would you take the kids or not? I want to hear from you on the socials. Yes. And if you're looking to get your message directly into the ears of our listeners, uh, you can just email us, wickedruddypodcast at gmail.com, or you can reach out to us on Facebook. And that offer is, of course, open to the good, fine folks at Disney. Uh, if you would like to send uh, the co-hosts and their families down to Disney on an all-expense we trip paid, we, we, we'll gladly talk about it and be social with our friends. So That's uh, just right. putting that out there. <laughs> well, until next time, I'm Mary Larson. And I'm the shameless Ben DeCastro. <laughs> 
you've been listening to Wicked Roadie. We'll have more for you next Thursday.